If we're being honest, Wolves Away hasn't been very kind to us in the past couple of years, and that's because they defend so well and can hurt anyone on the counter. It's not just us really, a lot of other big six teams have also struggled at Molyneux. This up-and-coming encounter promises to be different though, as we have an overload of creative players that can help us break down the Wolves' defense. So, what happens when we play Wolves Away? Let's find out. Wolves 2, Manchester United 1, April 2019 We started the game with good attacking intent and in the first 20 minutes, Wolves couldn't even get out of their own half. Rul Patricio denied Lukaku from close range before Scott McTominay scored his first ever United goal after 13 minutes. Luke Shaw, who mostly played like he was a left forward, initially drew Wolves in, but the ball was then shifted to McTominay who scored from 25 yards with a beautiful drive into the far corner. A few minutes later, Jesse Lingard missed a great opportunity from 8 yards which appeared to wake up Wolves and they drew level with a goal of their own in the 25th minute. Their equaliser came after Fred's control fouled him 35 yards from goal and Jota was in behind two passes later and he clinically blasted past David De Gea. The game continued to fluctuate between both teams as De Donka fired wide from 10 yards out before Lukaku was inches away with a tight angle effort. Ashley Young gave Wolves the advantage just before the hour when he received a second yellow and subsequently a red card for a dangerous challenge on Diego Jota. Then to make matters even worse, Johnny's left wing cross was met by Raul Jimenez who headed back across the six-yard box where De Donka pressured Smalling to put the ball into his own net in the 77th minute. It was overall a very annoying night for us at Molyneux. Wolves won Manchester United 1 August 2019 This one was yet another frustrating night at Molyneux. In a cautious opening in which we controlled the ball and Wolves defended deeply, neither team produced much offensive move. Then a sharp movement off the ball from Jesse Lingard and Rashford onto Martial, who was positioned inside the area, led to the first real chance and Patricio was beaten for the first time with a clear-sighted goal. Wolves made few attempts to respond, but we comfortably saw the first half through. In the 55th minute, Raul Jimenez's header against the post and subsequent rebound off David De Gea gave the home team a real opportunity to tie the score, but we survived the scare. The momentum appeared to have flipped in Wolves' favor after the goal until Connor Cody fouled Pogba in the box and referee John Moss pointed to the penalty spot. In the previous game of the season, when we beat Chelsea 4-0, Rashford had converted the penalty we got in that game, but this time Pogba went up and saw Patricio save his powerful attempt. That was surely a very frustrating sight for all Man United fans. Wolves nil, Man United nil, January 2020. Yet another frustrating night at Molyneux. The finest opportunity for Wolves in the first half came when Matt Doherty received a Pedro Nito corner at the far post and flicked it on, but Romero made a superb save in response. After the break, with the visitors still without a chance on goal, Neto received a pass from Traore and created space for a shot on the edge of the area. However, Romero blocked Neto's shot again with his feet. Dendoka's foul on Brandon Williams did give rise to a penalty claim from the United players, but the video assistant referee upheld on-field official Paul Turney's decision not to award. 19 minutes from time, Cody dived in to deny a free kick from Juan Mata and Rashford struck the bar with a ball that looped up after it. However, Wolves goalkeeper John Ruddy didn't even need to make a noteworthy save. Wolves 1, Manchester United 2, May 2021 Wolves started off with purpose, but we had the better early opportunities, all of which fell to Anthony Elanga. The 19-year-old forward twice came close to scoring, but a weak touch and a misplaced left-footed shot undid those chances before he went on to score without error in minute 13. Ilanga had this opportunity to head home from close range because of Daniel James's excellent work on the left flank. He did well to cross from the left and Wolves' careless marking cost them quietening the crowd. However, the best play of the opening period resulted in the equalizer when Dendoka and Jao Moutinho worked nicely together to set up Semedo for a low finish into the net. That had Molyneux rocking until late in the half when Donny van der Beek's run across the face of goal attracted a foul by Romain Says, which Mike Dean spotted following a VAR review. Mata converted past Raul Patricio and this young United side went into the interval ahead. We even had a big chance to increase our lead before the hour mark but we couldn't convert. In the end, we won comfortably enough to ensure Nuno's final game for Wolves ended in defeat, but with fans screaming his name ahead of an emotional lap of honor on the Molyneux pitch. Wolves nil, Manchester United 1, August 2021. With Raul Jimenez forcing David De Gea into an early save, Aaron Wan 
Wan-Bissaka making a goal-saving block to prevent Trincao and Jao Moutinho volleying over following a mistake by Jadon Sancho, Wolves should have been 3-0 up after 15 minutes. For lengthy stretches, we were second best and it took a magnificent double save by De Gea from Roman Says to prevent Wolves from grabbing the lead before Greenwood's finish. The boot-up to Greenwood's goal was not without controversy, with Paul Pogba appearing to catch Ruben Nevers only for Mike Dean to dismiss the midfielder's appeals. However, we were lucky to win that game to say the least. So these are the most recent results when Man United play Wolves away. Our prediction for the upcoming match is a 3-0 win to Manchester United. But what do you guys think? Leave us a comment below with your own prediction. And remember, if you support Man United, then you must support our channel. Click the like button, hit subscribe and turn the notifications bell on to get more Man United videos sent right to you. And now on the screen there should be another great video from our channel that is only for Manchester United fans. Click on the video and we will see you there.